Really? Yes. yes. You really not talked to me over the last video? Yes. yes. You made me look stupid, man. Look, I know it wasn't our best. I'm sorry, not our best? You were the only one in the video. We all agreed that we would come up with a theory after we did the reading. Yeah! Not only did you not include any of us, we didn't even know you were shooting. You had no humor. Yeah! You had no facts. Yeah! You didn't have anything but a scary clown and a lot of bad editing. Yeah! I agree. Where'd you come from? Over there. I didn't know this was in production. Are you guys making this a one-man show? Okay, 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 I get it. You guys didn't like the video. It was poorly written. Yeah, it was poorly researched and poorly edited. Yeah! Glad you agree. Are you gonna contribute anything to this conversation? Real! That would be a no on that. It's not really a surprise, but we still have to come up with a theory for how to identify, address, and overcome fear. Yes, it has to be something both simple and easy to understand. Real, man! But getting back on track, I think we should focus on Greg Hendricks. He has a pretty good theory. I'm sorry, who now? He wrote a blog, this blog right here, that emotions are part of an experimental system that can be thought of as our theater of experience. All of this equates to the three domains, our sensory perceptual experience, our motivations and needs, and our response sets. <coughs> All of these define our emotions and how they operate. How'd he come up with that? <coughs> By watching his cat, I guess. Cats are stupid. Well, as great as that sounds, it doesn't really come across as simple. Plus, if I remember correctly, we have to understand something called the Parte model, and no one's gonna understand that. But what, what are we talking about? The what? The model separates consciousness into three separate layers. Huh? Layers. There's the experimental self, the part of you that holds your raw, unfiltered emotions. You as a baby. Then there's your private self, your narrator, explaining and judging your core feelings. The voice in your head when you talk to yourself. Then there's your public self, which is what you display to the world. Oh. Cause I'm real. Yeah, he gets it. But none of this explains anything about oh. fear, what it is, and how to overcome it. For all we know, this is all some technical mumbo jumbo. Huh? What about the original theory? You mean Freud's theory of consciousness? That doesn't apply here. What was that theory again? Yeah, like Sigmund Freud theorized the human psyche is in three parts too. The id, the superego, and the ego. Y'all ain't know this? Id, according to Freud, was like, you know, the primitive part of man. Maybe we should hit him. The super ego, that was like, you know, our morals and justified sinners and the good part. Let's give him a minute. He might come out of it on his own. And then you had the ego that had to keep the other two in check. Calm down, you guys. Hold up, hold up. You okay? Yeah, I'm real. Whew, okay, he's back. That's fine for emotions and thoughts, but it does nothing to identify, diffuse, or understand fear. Yeah, that's what we need, something simple. Yeah, something really easy to understand. Yeah, something anyone can respond to. Oh, snap. I'll write it. I'll edit. Guys, guys, what about me? I don't want to present with this guy. I hate you. Guys, what about me? I'm real. What you looking at? Boo. Oh, man. Boo. Not again.